Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Sooners are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Oklahoma is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He's to the 20, heading for the corner, and they push him out at the 30. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Release tight end incomplete. Fred, this is a good job by this defense of getting after the quarterback. And until this offense finds a way to slow down that pressure, if I'm the defensive coordinator, I continue to dial up the blitz. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. From their own 30 yard line, third down. They can't hear a thing down there. Tackle made at the 43. You don't expect tight ends to run away from many defenders, but he looked pretty nimble getting downfield there. From their own 49 yard line. Second down. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because he can't catch the ball as a defensive back. He's at the 40, and he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gives it off. And he carries the ball for a nice game. First down. From the 25 yard line. First down. They'll bring him down around the 28 yard line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis which is exactly what he did on that play. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Oh 
tackle around the five yard line. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, that it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. After a decent pickup. Here's the 12th play of the drive. They come out in a five wide set. He's scrambling, looking for the corner. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He makes the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Cornhuskers were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for Kansas State, they've now dropped three in a row. And for Mosley, he capped off a great day with four touchdown passes. The Cornhuskers win it by three. In other games, Pistol Pete has the guns a-blazing as Oklahoma State takes the field in Stillwater. The Cowboys have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. And for Palmer, he's caught a pass for a touchdown. All lucky seven. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Shelton, ready to kick. Rogers has a to return. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The Sooners offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Right around the 36-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 47. The Sooners always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled around the 27 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he has it on the corner. He's taken down at about the 11. for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's take a look at some sports from around the country. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Cowboys strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. 
And for Rodgers, he's grabbed a touchdown pass in this one. Oklahoma State leads it 14-7 late in the first quarter. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. Williams looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 28-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And he's tackled the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. The Miners lineman went down with an injury earlier. We thought he'd make it back, but still, he hasn't reappeared from the locker room. Nowhere to go in the quarterback scramble. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. That's a great tackle at the 17. We played one. We get a tie game at 7-7. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Coley to punt. Takes it at the 45, gets to about the 44-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they make the stop at the 37. Robinson makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. That makes it third and three. Wants to go long and done. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. So they're going to go for it here. made right around the 26-yard line. Nice gain as he works the right side. the middle for a nice run. That's a game of six on the That'll make it seven and four. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. I'm checking 29. Check 29. He gets out to about the six-yard line. Gaining three yards. That'll make it third and one. Let's go, let's go. Here we got 
converts the extra point. A nine-play, 43-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The Miners linebacker shaken up earlier, but he is a top customer, and I think he'll be back in this game before it's over. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's hit and got away. Gets out to around the 35. That's good for the game, 13 yards. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. He delivers. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what? That was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. From the 42-yard line, second down. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down around the 38-yard line. That makes, that makes it 37. 37. <laughs> Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback Oklahoma's offense is just clicking on all cylinders Herbie right now it's everything they plan for and it's all working everything is coming together for this offense they seem to be getting better with each series and you know this game started where this team was you know they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense and I think right now I think they seem to as I said earlier they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession Gibson was the intended receiver on the way that makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Oklahoma is up seven. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 31. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. <laughs> he threw that ball so hard, I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. That makes it second and ten. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Hey, check, check 
Steps up in the pocket. And he tackles him hard at the 49. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Rifles it left. Makes a grab and steps out right away. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. From the 33-yard line, first down. out to his receiver and he's immediately tackled him hard at the three-yard line. So at the end of the half, the Sooners lead 14-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back from their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kurt, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He'll return it from the three. He's taken down at the 25. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Oklahoma is up a score. And he is drilled at the 33. at the 29-yard line. That's a loss of four, four yards, yards, yards on the play. play. Third down. down. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 29. First down, Graham. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. one for the end zone. 
Missed him. From the 32 yard line. Second down. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. Oklahoma is up by a touchdown. Zips it to the tight end. Off down at the 29. Woods gets him about three yards with a completion. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's in trouble. He's hit and taken down. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. And he adds the extra point. A nine play, 74 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So the score now 21 7. Williams gets set to kick this one away. Kelly takes it from the six. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The Sooner staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Falling back complete. He's tackled at about the 35. From their own 35-yard line. First down. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. First down. Makes it to the 44. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Try to change the field position with his kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sooners aren't easing back, that's for sure. They're not content to sit on the lead they had. No, I think they're continuing to go out and execute, try to extend this lead, and just playing overall and much better here in the second half. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. There's 
the strike complete. He's brought down in the open field. one yard line it's second down on the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's take a look at some scores from around the country. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Oklahoma State, they're looking to win their third straight. Oklahoma State leads it 38-26. Three touchdown ball game here, Reese, 28-7. Oklahoma to kick. The Sooners had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. Oklahoma is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence. And it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. made around the 35-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. That's three down and one to go. Oklahoma's got a three-touchdown advantage. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He scrambles. And he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. He picks up a good seven yards there in the quarterback keeper. That makes it 33.
Gets to about the 44-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Zips it to the back, and he's taken down at the 37. Collier brings him down at the 37-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 28. Gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Throw in left. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. You know, Brad, I, I know this game is out of reach, but I just love to see that these guys haven't given up. And there's more to a game than just thinking about winning and losing. As a coach, you want to see your team not give up and continue to try to go out and execute. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Less than three minutes in the game. One's incomplete. It's the 11th play of the drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. And they got him for a loss. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. They line up in the jumbo set. Got the corner. Touchdown, Miners. Took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. Battle of wills down there in the pits, and that time the offense won. He makes the PAT. by their special teams. This team clearly isn't going away without a fight. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. He goes downtown. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. for the score, and we're down to a one-score game. Oh, 
and he hits the PAT. A short three play, 59 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Taken down by the kicker. The Sooners are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for it. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Just under two to go in the game. And they push him out at the 34-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. He has some room. He's at the 20. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. Touchdown, Sooners. Sooners sideline just erupting over there as their quarterback got to the end zone. What a run. What a big moment in this game. The quarterback takes it into the end zone for a potential game-winning touchdown. They have good reason to be celebrating on those sidelines. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. And for Houston, they've dropped two straight. And for Roberts, he was unstoppable. Five touchdowns on the game. Best way to describe this kid, straight warrior. The Cowboys cruise by 19. All right, Reese, back to our game. Williams has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. They hook up over the middle. Tackle at the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Throws complete. He's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the nine. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, the big fella's pretty athletic for a tight end. And as a quarterback, it's always nice to have a big target like this to go to. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. converts the extra point. So a four-play, 74-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. And down he goes at the 39. Well, I know momentarily Reese Davis is going to have an update for the rest of the country from our game because all we've got is offense. We have no defense here. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. UTEP's called their final timeout. Two times, two times. Second down and 12. Ball on the 42-yard line. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee.
Oklahoma is up by a touchdown. Brought down at the 33. Oklahoma staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.